Hello and welcome to Couton Cracker Jacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious pretzel dogs. These are all beef franks filled and stuffed with melty cheddar cheese, all wrapped up in a soft pretzel dough and baked to a golden brown perfection. These are the ingredients that you'll need. So let's get started. Now to start off, of course, I'm gonna make up some pretzel dough here. I have a separate video that shows how I do this and I go into more depth in that video. Uh, but I'm just gonna give you a basic rundown here. I've already got some warm milk and sugar in a medium bowl here. To that, I'm gonna add in some butter and I'm gonna sprinkle some active dry yeast on top of that. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a few moments to let the yeast kind of awaken and liven up a little bit. I'm gonna add in my salt and flour and just using my hand here, I'm gonna mix this together until it forms a dough. And once that comes together and forms a dough, I'm gonna knead it for just a minute or two, and then I'm going to lightly oil a bowl. I'm gonna cover this with a damp towel, put it into a warm place to rise uh, until it's about double in size. Again, I'll go into more detail on that in a separate video, uh, and I will put a link to that video down below in the description box. Now, while I'm waiting for my dough to rise, I'm gonna prepare my hot dogs. These are all beef hot dogs. You can use whatever kind of hot dogs that you want. You could also use sausage for this if you wanted to. Uh, but to make sure that the pretzel dough actually cooks on the inside, you wanna make sure that your hot dogs are nice and dry. So I've just got a paper towel here and I'm going to dry off my hot dogs and I'm just gonna set them off onto a plate. And then I'm going to take some cheddar cheese here. This is just the chunk cheddar. Uh, you can use whatever kind of cheese that you want to. This happens to be sharp cheddar. I'm just gonna cut these into thin slices and then cut the slices in half. You just want a small, thin strip or so of cheese to put inside of each hot dog. And you don't have to stuff these with cheese if you don't want to. You can just uh, go ahead and leave them plain and then use a cheese sauce uh, as a dipping sauce. That's perfectly fine. I just like to stuff mine because, well, I'm a cheese addict. But all you need to do to stuff these is to slice through your hot dog. Uh, you don't wanna cut all the way through. You wanna leave uh, a little bit connected at the bottom so you know your hot dogs don't come apart and you have two halves. Uh, but you just want to cut a little slit just deep enough that your cheese slice will fit in there. Just go ahead and gently put your cheese into the hot dog and then go ahead and set that off to the side. Now that we have the hot dogs done, I'm gonna go ahead and get my baking soda solution done. I've got one cup of hot water here. I'm going to add in one and a half tablespoons of just plain baking soda. And you just wanna go ahead and stir that until the baking soda is dissolved. And then you wanna place that into a wide and shallow dish. I'm using a pie plate here for that. Now, once your dough has doubled in size, you can go ahead and take it out of your bowl and you wanna cut this into eight equal pieces. Uh, just cut it into fourths and then cut the fourths in half so you have eight equal pieces. And then go ahead and set all the pieces off to the side. We're only gonna use one piece at a time here. And to form your pretzel dogs, you wanna take one piece of dough here and you want to roll this out into a long rope. Uh, this rope here that I'm using is about two, two and a half feet long or so, 24, 30 inches or so. It's actually quite long. Once you get that rolled out to a rope, you wanna use your fingertips and press this down flat. That'll make it easier to wrap around your hot dog. And then you wanna take your dog and starting at one end, you wanna place your dough and leave the end underneath the hot dog on the bottom part of the hot dog. And you want to gently roll this dough around your hot dog. Make sure that the dough wraps or overlaps itself a little bit on each turn. And you just wanna keep rolling this until you get all the way to the other end. And once you get to the end, go ahead and stretch it a little bit so the uh, other end sticks at the bottom of your hot dog. So it looks like a little mummy here. And once you get these all done, now you can go ahead and dunk them in your baking soda solution to make them officially a pretzel. Just take them one by one, roll them in that solution, and then place them back onto your baking sheet. And then before these have a chance to dry, uh, I usually only do a couple at a time here, you wanna sprinkle these with some pretzel salt. This is just a coarse grade salt. Uh, you can find this in most grocery stores. You could also use kosher salt if you really wanted to, but pretzel salt is ideal. Uh, pretzel salt's really cheap, so might as well use it. A little goes a long way, but it really does make a difference. So just sprinkle a little bit of salt on the top of each one of these, and then you wanna bake these in a preheated 450 degree oven 
for between nine and 11 minutes or so. You wanna keep an eye on them. You want them to be nice and golden brown. And when they get to your desired doneness, go ahead and take them out. Let them cool for just a minute. And then I've got a couple tablespoons of butter here. And I'm just gonna use a pastry brush and I'm gonna brush the tops and sides of my pretzel dogs with this melted butter. This is gonna make my pretzel dough or the pretzels wrapped around the dogs super soft. It's gonna flavor these so amazing. Little butter makes everything more delicious. And then you can go ahead and serve these up any way you so choose. I like dipping mine in ketchup. Uh, if you wanna do a beer cheese sauce, you can do that, or you can just eat them plain as they are. And there you go. That's how easy it is to make pretzel dogs at home. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you do, be sure to let me know how you like it down below in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more deliciousness and keep up to date on all my latest videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.